Okay, my friends, let's start working now on the landing gears. Uh, first of all, we're going to cover this hole right here, so we don't need that big old hole. Put some foam in it and to make it more nicer. Um, to, to do the, the landing gear panel, I use paper to do the template on it, so you won't mess up your wood, you know. Make sure it's the right size. Here we have it right here. Uh, ready to test fit, really, and see how, how well it's going to fit on it. Uh, looks like it's gonna be perfect so let's move to the landing gear doors uh, again do not reinforce where the landing gear doors are gonna be hanging with balsa wood uh, yeah this is something I came up with I was trying to figure out where to make the landing gears off and I was drinking you know some coke <laughs> and when I finished it I decided to use the the bottle uh, looks like it fits pretty good you know the plastic on it and it ha already have the curve shape on it so it will be easier to to hold the the shape on it, you know, uh, some balsa wood right there to make sure, you know, the 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 plastic doesn't fall too much or not enough. As you see right here, uh, looking very good, very nice. <laughs> uh, it was pretty easy to do, guys. Very simple. And there you go, test fit rather, looking good. Uh, putting the hinges on the landing gear doors. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, reinforce that those places with balsa looking good uh, this is the hook that I'm building to put the the rubber band that is going to force the door to open is the rubber band right there and a little notch on the foam uh, this is just a pen that I'm going to use inside the aircraft you see bend there with some pliers so the rubber band hook onto it and you see right there that V shape uh, put it on some wood to reinforce it inside so it won't just snap off and glue it inside the plane to hook the rubber band to it and there you go the gears are open okay my friends uh, so far so good <laughs> it's actually working pretty good uh, check this out right here door closed they're open close open uh, <clears throat> that wasn't so hard to figure out <laughs> so rubber band right there see right there that hook with the rubber band is going down in there Just, there we go and bang. hold it mm -hmm. it's strong enough to pull the door open but not too strong that it's going to stress my servo so anyway uh, now let's figure out a way to to make this gear come down here and touch something you know that is going to make this door close over it so let, let's see what we can come up with all right but first we're going to fix and finish basically the the panels on the landing gears and there you go you know cut out into the wind to make sure you know if it flush with the wing uh, looking good so far uh, this is a metal tubing right here that is actually the the landing gear door panel is going to be hauled into it as you see right here glue to a reinforcer with some uh, carbon fiber and a piece of uh, plywood very thin plywood to make it stronger you know in case the the landing gears slam too hard it won't break and this is the front nose landing gear belt really again reinforced with some balsa wood where the landing gear is going to be hanging on i mean the landing gear door is going to be hanging to and there you go hinge it on it uh, that tape that you see right there on the landing gear doors is actually to help hold the shape on it because they have a, a little bit of a curve into it uh, there you go these are the hooks for the to hold the uh, the rubber bands that's the hook on the door you see right there and i can you have to build another hook that is going to be inside the plane holding the rubber band on place as you see right here one beside the servo and the other one on the other side rubber bands on place now and the gear doors are open yeah that wheel there the wheel i'm using right there is a bit too big so i need to cut a notch on the door okay my friends so here we have the landing gears now uh, actually i end up putting a servo on the landing gear doors because i couldn't figure out a way to to get a rubber band or a wire or something to work you know to keep it close uh, the rubber band uh, style did work very good on the front landing gear doors 
what he did on the back, you know, just because of the way the gears go in, you know, they don't go in, go in perfectly, you know, vertical or horizontal, you know, with the fuselage, you know, they go in like a sideways, and it's just hard to figure out something that way, so I have to put a servo on him. Well, it turned out pretty good though, uh, very nice, I'm really happy with it, uh, I have to put, cut a hole here because this wheel, the one I'm using right now on the nose gear, is not the scale really, it's a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna have to get me a smaller wheel to put in here, but I'm going to just have to deal with it for the moment, you know, so I can start getting this plane ready to fly, so let me go ahead and show you, you guys, uh, you see landing gear doors right here, as you see right here, I have to put a servo over there, that's a servo for the gear doors. They're open. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open the landing gears. Uh, landing gear right there. The front right here, you see that the front one works pretty good with the rubber bands. You see right there, and the, the gear comes down here, touches this rubber band, and this one is the one that puts, pushes the, the gear close. Uh, it's a very easy to do, guys. When you have very simple landing gear setup, now when you have this, once they go in an angle, you know. So let me close them for you, right here. Landing gear close, and just the gear doors is close too. I know it's probably gonna be a little bit difficult whenever I'm flying because I'm gonna have to be careful to always open the the gear door first, you know, before I open the the wheels. But anyway, uh, I I know I can deal with it. So okay, guys, uh, it's turning out very nice. Uh, so. Uh, we keep working on it. I'll try to get on the air pretty soon, you know. Um, I've been working on the rudder too on it. Uh, so you can see right here. Uh, I'm actually liking this way I did this rudder right here. It's like an scale look. As you see, you, you don't see the notch. As you see on the other ones right here, you see this hole, this notch right here. So I'm actually think I'm going to... I'm thinking on changing the other ones and building a scale like this. You know, you need, you need different type of hinges though, but I think it's nicer. It's more scale. So I think I'm going to do this with my alerons too. So okay my friends, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll keep the videos coming more often now. See you next fly.